This is your host, Sapna Bharatiya, and welcome to Let's Talk. Microsoft recently joined the Linux Foundation Energy Project. To talk about Microsoft's involvement with the foundation, we have with us today Audrey Lee, Senior Director of Energy Sector at Microsoft. Audrey, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Sapna. It's great to be here. Let's quickly learn about your own background. What do you do at Microsoft within your role as energy strategy at Microsoft? I lead energy strategy and the uh, data center and energy sustainability team. Uh, our team uh, is responsible for ensuring that data centers get interconnected to the electricity grid um, and negotiating those energy supply agreements, procuring clean electricity through power purchase agreements. You know, I, I joined Microsoft because I believe technology is integral to our daily life, you know, from medical care to education, from our, our smart appliances to our mobile connectivity. And, and data and data centers are at the heart of that technology dependence, and they power Microsoft's uh, cloud services. And so data takes energy. And I just, I love working at that intersection between data infrastructure and energy infrastructure. So, so my specific role at Microsoft is coordinating that global regulatory and policy work to make it happen, um, but also advancing our technology roadmap, uh, and then exploring commercial opportunities that leverage our learnings uh, on the data center side um, and solutions that we've come up with um, and help our customers through their sustainability journeys as well. Energy sector itself has changed with the arrival of a lot of renewables. Uh, a lot of people are not just consumer, they're also producing because they're putting energy back in the grid itself. So, and, and a lot of movement is going on, like all the data centers also becoming more and more green. So can you talk about from your perspective, what have you seen how the energy sector has changed and evolved? Yeah, and, and I've been working in the energy sector for oh, 15 years at least, and have seen a lot of these changes, which are really exciting. You know, I think the energy system has gotten much more complex, as you say, with not just the centralized distribution structure, but customers participating and distributed energy resources participating in the electricity grid. And so it, it, takes, it takes technology. And, and this is, goes back to what I said about that that intersection between the energy infrastructure and the data infrastructure and how it's such a foundation for, for our lives. Um, but there's so much complexity that I think we need to advance more in that digitalization. And I think this is where Linux Foundation plays a really important role. Like we can't, Microsoft can't do it alone, customers can't do it alone, and utilities I don't think can do it alone either. We really need to work together um, to build this more sustainable uh, energy electricity infrastructure um, that we need to, to, to move into the future. Since you brought in a Linux Foundation, and if you look at Linux Foundation, Linux Foundation is a foundation of foundations, and Microsoft is already part of a lot of Linux Foundation foundations. Uh, and you folks recently joined the LF Energy Foundation. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, why is uh, Microsoft, a tech company, joining the L, uh, you know, LF Energy Foundation? Yeah, sure. I mean, Microsoft, as you said, is already a member of 23 Linux Foundation efforts. Uh, and Microsoft is building that open technology with our customers, our partners, and the community. And we just we believe we can do more. You know, we're trying to make Azure the most open cloud, um, and using Microsoft's enterprise expertise to to empower our partners and our community. Um, and when it comes to Linux Foundation Energy specifically, Microsoft is is very focused on creating a sustainable future built on our software and cloud engineering. And so, not only is Microsoft working to decarbonize its own operations. Um, but we're also working to help decarbonize the entire electricity grid. That's where we can make help make a big impact. Uh, and so, you know, we're we're just we're joining LF Energy to collaborate. It's a great forum. Um, the LF Energy members among um, energy companies and utilities, and we want to collaborate and explore how digitalization and open source technology can help us decarbonize our our power systems. As you alluded to, the fact that Microsoft is already part of. What, 23 uh, Linux Foundation foundations. And even with LF Energy, they are leveraging a lot of projects which are not only hosted at LF Energy, also outside of LF Energy. The, I mean, uh, energy sector is using edge computing a lot and a lot of you know work is going on. So if I ask from your perspective, how do you see cross-pollination within Linux Foundation foundation where you know all projects are leveraging each other works? So what do you see there? Yeah, I think... I think there's, there's, there's just so many efforts. You know, this is my first time working at such a large technology company, but you know, I think we have uh, my colleagues who have uh, joined and started the Green Software Foundation, which I think is really exciting. Um, you know, we, Microsoft does a lot of work on IoT, and I think we recently um, published some digital twin ontology, uh, open source um, tools. 
Uh, and so, I, you know, I think it's it's also interconnected, and it's it will be a challenge to connect all the dots. But I think it's really exciting that we're all working together, and there's just so many intersection points um, between green software and digital twin, and you know, the work with uh, the work with energy companies at uh, Linux Foundation Energy. If I ask you from once again Microsoft's or your or your perspective. Uh, uh, by joining uh, LF Energy, how are you going to uh, help them or the ecosystem or uh, the the whole open source landscape through your participation? As you mentioned, you know you are trying to solve your own problem, and your problems it, it solves problem for a lot of other people. So, so talk about that. Yeah, I, you know that's a great question because I think we recognize that we are you know we can be one part of the solution. We are one part of the grid, not the entire grid. Um, but you know, we hope that our contribution can really um, scale some of these solutions. So you know, just to talk about our our sustainability goals and put that in context of how we can try to work together to decarbonize the entire grid. Uh, at, at Microsoft, we just recognize how important it is for us to take urgent climate action, and we hope that our example inspires others. We're committed to sourcing 100% of our energy from renewables by 2025. Uh, Microsoft has been carbon neutral since 2012, and we're on a path to become carbon negative by 2030 across our scope one, two, and three emissions. Uh, and then what I think is really cool is by 2050, we aim to remove all of the carbon we've emitted since our company's founding in 1975. Uh, and as one example, two months ago, we just announced our 100-100-0 commitment, which I think is, is very related to the electricity work that Linux Foundation Energy is doing. Um, and what this commitment means that by 2030, we'll have 100% of our electricity consumption and 100% of the time matched by zero carbon energy purchases. So that means every hour of every day, our energy use and the energy consumed to serve our customers will be from zero carbon uh, emitting purchases. And you know, back to your question, we can't control the outcome by ourselves. Uh, and this is where organizations like LF Energy are really important. We're customers on the grid. We can't control how our electricity is generated. Uh, but we can work with other customers and energy companies to, to influence the way we purchase our electricity. And then we can work to decarbonize the entire grid. It's really, it's not, in the larger scheme of things, it's not about, you know, it is about, you know, Microsoft decarbonizing its operations, but we could be one or 2% um, of that, of that, of the grid. And so we really need to work together to, to decarbonize the entire grid and, and create that sustainable future. If we look at a lot of industries, uh, telco is a very good example, which is moving away from black boxes, uh, proprietary technologies to a lot of open source technology. Though open source is not ultimate, all, all, there will always be a mix of both of them. Uh, what kind of trend are you seeing in the energy sector? Because we have LF Energy, which is all about open source. So can, can you talk a bit about what do you see in this space? I think energy can be different than other industries because it's it's such a heavily regulated industry. I mean, telco used to be more regulated, um, but you know, with with energy with electricity, you have regulated monopolies that um, that have certain constraints in terms of how you invest in technology and how you structure that technology investment um, and how rate payers um, fund that and how, and how it's rate based. Um, and so, so I think there's a lot we need to, to work together on to figure out, you know, as, as technology is rapidly changing, how does the regulatory structure evolve um, to adapt so that we are not hindered um, by that regulatory structure and we can decarbonize and adopt this technology and, and move forward as, as quickly as possible. And so it's not, you know, you're right, it's not just about technology work, but, you know, these forums like LF Energy are really helpful in thinking through some of the, the regulatory um, aspects as well and what, what needs to change. And we can only do that by you know, talking to each other and working together, understanding the technology and understanding um, a lot of the constraints that um, utilities operate under. Audrey, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only Microsoft's own goals uh, to reduce its uh, carbon footprint, but also your involvement with Linux Foundation and Linux Foundation Energy. And I would love to have you back on the show whenever there is new update regarding uh, LF Energy. Thank you. Thank you, Sopnil. It's been a pleasure.